Welcome back to Club Helens Vale, rather Musgrave Hill on Australia's Gold Coast for the third and final session of the second Trans-Tasman test between the Australian Jackaroos and the New Zealand Blackjacks. We've had women's fours and men's pairs for you. Now it is women's singles. And the best of them all, uh, Joe Edwards, leading female player in the world, up against Kelsey Cottrell of Australia. Joe Edwards on her 50th birthday and up against Kelsey Cottrell. It hasn't gone so well so far in this Trans-Tasman and carrying over to the third Trans-Tasman test, in fact, in November last year. Earlier today, it was Kelsey Cottrell running up 21-9 victor over Joe Edwards and that followed up her 21-19 win over Edwards in the first Trans-Tasman test at Club Helensvale. If you have just joined us as well, we welcome you all in, just bringing you all up to date with the scores from the previous session in the game we broadcast to you. It finished 18-17, Shannon McElroy and Gary Lawson beating Corey Wedlock and Aaron Wilson of Australia. In the men's triples, Australia ran out 19-15 winners in the women's pairs. Selena Smith and Joe Edwards celebrated their first win together 2010 they won, and in the women's triples, it was Australia beating New Zealand 15-12. to 12. So the situation as it stands is that the men's Trans-Tasman test is locked at two apiece. Australia leading on shot differential. The women's Trans-Tasman test, the second test here at Musgrave Hill, Australia leading 3-1 and also with a very positive shot differential of plus 20. So plenty of work to do for the New Zealand women in particular. And they can go a long way in this comeback with Joe Edwards if she can get a big win in the singles to eat away at that plus 20. So New Zealand have to win here in the singles, also have to win the women's fours if they're to go level at three all, and then they're also going to have to try and eat away at that minus 20 shot differential, which is currently the state of affairs. Almost ready to get underway in the women's singles match here. Brenton Vanisseroy in commentary alongside Kevin Hicklin, who no doubt is still still buzzing after that last match in the men's pairs. Yeah, certainly it was a great game and talking both to Aaron Wilson and Gary Lawson and Shannon McElroy after the game, they too thought it was you know, a great game and it certainly was a great spectacle as was, of course, the finish of the men's triples game, which came down, as it turned out, uh, to uh, the last bowl of uh, Aaron Sheriff, which uh, determined the win for Australia. And then, of course, we saw the Joe edwards Salerian smith combination record their first win. And then the women's triples going down to Australia. It was the Caitlin Inskip side. They're going down to the Australian combination. And now, of course, our feature match, Joe edwards endeavouring to get her first singles victory to celebrate her 50th birthday against Kelsey Cottrell who uh, right now over the last few international fixtures leads now with a 3-0 running total ahead of Joe Edwards so uh, I predicted earlier on today that this is Joe's 50th birthday this morning's result is now behind it and uh, We'll see a strong performance this afternoon by Joe Edwards. Of course, much needed in the overall aspect of this trans Tasman because the women don't win both of these games. Uh, Brendan, we're sort of, it's all over for the women. Yeah, absolutely. That will be the test series over from the women's perspective, of course, after losing again and shot differential in the first test at Club Hallensvale. If they lose the second test, that will be the test over series as it is so it'll be all about the men and the third test will be a dead rubber as it was for the men in the last trans tasman but the third test at worst for the men will be a decider after they won at club helensville yesterday of course two wins this afternoon for the men would uh, give them the the victory for today and of course the overall victory uh, for them, but of course, which they haven't recorded since 2009. So a lot to play for here for both the New Zealand men and New Zealand women. 
in this round three, day two, test two of the Trans Tasman here on the Gold Coast at Musgrave Hill. And of course, tomorrow we'll be at Broad Beach. The Hooter, no doubt, about to, to go and we'll be underway. There Here it is. we go, right on cue. Yeah, they're just last of the trial ends on one of the fours matches just completed. Joe Edwards and Kelsey Cottrell been waiting patiently and now we are underway. The uh, singles, of course, race to 21, ends don't count. And again, we've been fortunate today that the the weather, the forecast was certainly not uh, that bright. But uh, today, just a couple of spits earlier on today, but we'll get through the day uninterrupted from uh, weather conditions. So we watch Joe Edwards now playing her first bowl on her 50th birthday on this all-important singles match in this Trans-Tasman series and of course equally at stake is places from both the New Zealand and the Australian side for the up and coming World Championships this is the final trial of course before those teams will be announced well, I know Joe Edwards from yesterday, a very rare day in her career that she would have lost all three matches and two of those being pairs matches so to bounce back today and the pairs with Selena Smith get that win and the second session I think will be a good fillip for her as she looks to even the ledger somewhat against Kelsey Cottrell who has had her number of late three straight wins over Joe Edwards and Trans Tasman play. I think the big thing is Brendan we spoke about this this morning that Joe Edwards has got to overcome that slow start because those each of those three games where Joe Edwards has been defeated by uh, by Kelsey Cottrell. Kelsey Cottrell has been able to get a very, very large start. In fact, I think if we go back to the last series, it was something like 18-3, to 3, I think it was, and Joe Edwards nearly climbed out and won that game. And the game yesterday, of course, uh, Joe Edwards was quite a way behind and got back to a winning position. In fact, held the win uh, until the last bowl of, of Kelsey Cottrell. As we see, Joe Edwards here draw the shot. So I think the thing in the mindset for Joe Edwards in this game is to make sure, right, I've got to get a good start. I'm not going to let Kelsey Cottrell jump out of the gates and get seven or eight, nine shots up in front of me. And uh, I then have to really, I have to really dress myself to make sure, address my, my whole play to make sure that I can, I'm not going to be chasing big numbers as we see Kelsey Cottrell draw the shot right behind the jack with her third bowl of four and Joe Edwards will no doubt play follow the line of the Cottrell bowl which is the Joe Edwards bowl it does take a wider arc than the Kelsey Cottrell bowl and we like this bowl Joe Edwards this is on a good line this bowl of Edwards is going to get the bowl it does get the bowl just not full enough on the bowl but you will notice throughout this game that you will see the Joe Edwards bowl on a far wider line to the jack than the Kelsey Cottrell bowl, just the bowls that Joe Edwards uses, and also her delivery. It certainly gets a wider arc out of the bowl. Another good bowl here from Kelsey Cottrell. Whether it's two or not, we'll just have to wait and see. Certainly one. Yeah, Lollipop Man's already decided it's two, and our international technical official has been very much alive early on which is good to see the lollipops Very being good. raised after every bowl so Kelsey Cottrell on the board first in the women's singles 2-0 she leads Joe Edwards of course ends don't matter it's all about who's to 21 first yeah, within the, the time required the lollipop man very quickly there into his work wasn't he straight away two shots so yeah, it's good to see it's what, what certainly helps us uh, with obviously we don't have a, a camera right above the head no. so it's often a bit of a guessing game to trying to tell who is holding shot but with our international technical official right there that's a great title oh, the ITO <laughs> oh, that's I, a, I, I love the shirts just making sure <laughs> that it says official on the hat as well just so everyone knows 
So they've got the ITO and the man with the the laser measure, the fixed measure, and we haven't seen the builder's measure come out like we did in one of the other international series. Watch Joe Edwards now drawing up. That's what we want to see from Edwards. Quite draw, drew a shot with her first bowl, and Joe Edwards, her first bowl, just drew inside it in front of the jack. And we all know that Joe Edwards is a very, very resilient, very, very tough player and it never, ever gives him. But we know that Edwards was certainly like, Joe Edwards was certainly like to get away to that good start as we spoke about and get points on the built board early in this race to 21. And we certainly know she's a, no, Joe Edwards, the world number one ranked women's player and certainly her international achievements endorse that title for sure. And I suppose, Brennan, like a like a golfer, tennis player, you can go through patches during your playing career where for a while things just don't go right. Then all of a sudden the big events come along and, uh, and of course, Joe Edwards building up for the World Bowls, who she certainly will be part of the New Zealand side. Um, and I know there's an event coming up that Joe Edwards has declined to play in because her view that was going to interrupt her build up for the World Bowls. So... Uh, all important for Joey Bridge, a very committed New Zealand bowler, and you know, look at the look at her achievements over the years. Uh, approaching um, 650 games now as well for New Zealand, quite staggering. Oh, it's superb, and uh, I suppose the one thing for Joey Bridge now is she would dearly love that world singles title. You know, her, her great mate, of course, uh, uh, Val Smith. To get that in 2008 and then we had Cara Murphy in uh, 2012 and 2016 and I'm sure that Joe Edwards would just like to have that on a mantelpiece as the crowning glory of a international career Commonwealth Games, Gold, World Champion of Champions, the world the other world match play that they that they play, the indoor, the indoor World Cup, so she's got all the world events except there's one missing as far as the singles player is concerned and uh, she'd dearly love no doubt to win that uh, that world event oh certainly the three commonwealth games golds of course two of them in, in the singles so doesn't need to do anything more to prove herself as a singles player at the commonwealth games level but yeah i think certainly before she finishes her career would love to have that world title as Joe Edwards is on the board with a single, 2-1 now. Kelsey Cottrell over Joe Edwards in the race to 21, grabbing the mat and the jack. Quickly there was Edwards. Of course, Joe Edwards as well you know, won that Commonwealth Games gold medal, the last one, of course, here on the Gold Coast at Broad Beach. So not an unfamiliar surroundings for her international achievements. Of course... Yeah, Kelsey Cottrell, as a youngster, way back in 2008, of course, played the singles uh, for Australia. Uh, the year that Val Smith won the world singles. Uh, so Kelsey Cottrell, I think she's 29 now. Brenda, but certainly has clocked up a huge amount of games for Australia. But now one of the mainstays, of course, in the strong Australian uh, women's side. Yeah, certainly, and looking to win back-to-back Trans-Tasman tests and back-to-back -back Trans Tasman trophies overall. If they can just close out proceedings here, uh, commanding 3-1 lead in the six matches today. So if they can win one of these two matches, the, the singles that we've got here or the, the fours alongside us, which we'll keep you up to date with, then that wraps up the Trans Tasman trophy for another year for the Australian women. And even two narrow defeats will do it as well because they've got a plus 20 they, shot differential. So they come into these matches in a very commanding position to the Australian women. Well, those two rounds this morning, Brent, as we said, certainly set things back for the New Zealand side with a 21-9 to defeat for Joe Edwards in the singles and that... 25-10. Uh, yeah, mauling that the, the women's, women's force. After leading 9-3, of course. So here's Kelsey Cottrell. Draws a toucher. So Joe Edwards 
play down my new forehand. So it's a three quarter, not quite a three quarter length head. And the Cottrell Bolt sitting right on the jack as you watch this bowl of Joe Everts just going to go by the jack. The ITO was very keen. He was looking very closely at that as it broke towards the head. Just went past onto the centre line. Kelsey Cottrell now following that Joe Edwards bowl with Cottrell leading 2-1 in that race 2-21. As Robbie gets a bit creative with the box and box there. Oh, he certainly has. Uh, <laughs> Deco man here. <laughs> uh, certainly, we've got the, the close-up of Joe Edwards on the mat and the view of the bowl as well. We trust you're enjoying this coverage that we're bringing to you as we watch this bowl of Joey Bridge is just going to again just slip by narrowly trying to get to the jack. Three bowls here all on the line. Just could not quite get in the touch that she wanted. The New Zealand singles player. Yeah, so Kelsey Cottrell will be getting the jack and the mat back. It's just whether she scores one or two here. One's a certainty. Can she make it a second? It's on a good line. Just how's the weight? Is it going past now? And will just be the one shot. Wow, it seemed like a difficult end. Uh, apart from the one bowl from Kelsey Koch or everything else. A long way away from the Certainly jack. was. A good metre and a half away from the jack. Anything else? So 3-1 it is now. Kelsey Cottrell leading Joe Edwards of New Zealand in this race to 21. Women's singles. We have completed one end in the women's triples. It's New Zealand who picked up a shot on the first. They lead 1-0. In the men's singles, it's Aaron Wilson who is leading Shannon McElroy 2-0. And in the men's fours, after the first end, it's Australia 1, New Zealand 0. Four games, of course, taking place, just like we've had throughout all the sessions of these first and second Trans-Hasman tests, and will be the case tomorrow as well in the third and final test at Broadbeach, which uh, Kevin Hicklin will be bringing to you with a ray of others joining in <laughs> the commentary box to, to, to help you out. I'm sad to miss it, but look forward to watching what I can. Well, Britain, you're embarking upon that long trek, the, the hippie track that the family embark on the day after that, so a big, uh, quite a bit of hiking to do over the next few days. Yes, indeed. Uh, certainly, I don't know if sitting down for a, a few days here at bowling clubs has been the, the best ideal uh, preparation, but uh, looking forward to that as Joe Edwards comes up short with her first, but so is the second from Kelsey Cottrell after her first one was a couple of metres beyond the head, just sitting above the graphic at the bottom of the screen. Most players sort of struggling early on in this match, uh, Brendan, to get that weight in, weight in line all correct and we'll get confidence of where they want to play. This looks a better bowl here from Joe Edwards. So how's the weight as it comes down? Still going to, comes back to the centre line, but still a metre on a, over the jack. So still plenty of room for the Australian player, Kelsey Cottrell, to draw to the, draw the shot. It looks to be on it reasonably good line as it is now as it breaks down towards the head and this will certainly be the shot this bowl of Kelsey Cottrell's it'll finish jack level so Joe Edwards knows just a same line as her second bowl and just to lose a metre of weight and she will be on a, a line to the jack to get shot for sure so here's now the Edwards bowl watch it now breaking down towards the head on that Looks to be a narrower line for the Joe Edwards bowl. Breaking down towards, has to sit on the Kelsey Cottrell bowl. In fact, will just go outside the bowl. And I'd say that would leave one to Australia. Just waiting for the ITO to signal that. And confirms Kelsey Cottrell is 
holding shot. What do they call them in rugby? What do they call the Angus maybes? What are they? The, what oh, are the assist, technical? assistant referees are you talking about? Or yes, the, yes. Fourth, yeah. I don't know when they lost the moniker touch judges. They no. had, to, had to become beyond just touch judges. Assistant yeah. referees. So, to, so Joe Ebert's asking how far in front and the indicating uh, approximately half a metre. But it looks like two at this point in time is to Australia. Joe Edwards play her last bowl and asking how she far she's got to draw around the bowl and on its way is the Edwards bowl, this is on a good arc how's the weight as it breaks its way down now, this is a good bowl from Joe Edwards, this is what we see from the master and she certainly, she asked the marker how far she had to draw the shot and dutifully drew the shot for sure, did Joe Edwards and just the one yep so one more to Joe Edwards. A tight start to this contest so far, 3-2. Kelsey Cottrell of Australia leading New Zealand's Joe Edwards in this first to 21 women's singles action. We have the women's fours, men's singles and men's fours also in action. We'll keep you up to date with the other three matches. But this is our feature match as Joe Edwards looks to in some way stop the rot against Kelsey Cottrell in the singles. Kelsey Cottrell getting the better of the two-time defending Commonwealth Games singles champion. In three straight matches. I see we've got the drones up here. There's some, oh, I think Ben, <laughs> who's one of our production staff here, has just decided to have a bit of fun. He's put, put the, the drone up. So Le left Robbie... To do all the work by himself. It's the the man's playing with his playing with his drone. As we see a great opening ball from Joey Bitz sitting right alongside the jack. And Kelsey Cottrell's just going to slip past underneath it with her first. Great opening ball there from Joe Edwards. Windy conditions, but hasn't really affected the bowls greatly, Brendan, has it? These gust of winds, it's a I think they were affected more yesterday at Club Helensvale with the wind than, they, than we've had here today. Yeah, it's been more consistent as well, the wind here. You know, at Club Helensvale, it was gusty, wasn't it? Here, it's been pretty consistent. Yes, there's been wind, but nothing that the players can't can't deal with. And been relatively pleasant conditions, really, for bowls. Obviously, not too, too hot. A few players and officials in particular in jackets, but that's just more because they, they became accustomed to the high 30s like it was in practice rather than the, the low 20s like it, it is now for the first two days of this Trans-Tasman. So another toucher from Joe Ebert to move the jack further back. He just sits in that single line now. Two is the indication from the marker as Joe Ebert again will play down on, on her backhand, definitely holding two shots. The second bowl from Kelsey Cottrell's went past the head by a meter, and here's now that nice arc which Joe Edwards gets on her bowls, and this is going to count as well. This is this going to be? Is this going to be another toucher? All but three in a line. Two of those bowls are touches. Magnificent draw play there by Joe Edwards. This is what we're used to seeing from uh, New Zealand singles player. And yeah, she when she's playing bowls like this, you do wonder how Kelsey Cottrell won 21-9 earlier today because she can be this this consistent uh, oh, here's Cottrell now looking for the jack is it going to get all the way down to the jack it's close to it and just going to well that's how Kelsey Cottrell has been able to win against Joe Edwards because after three great bowls from Edwards the third from Kelsey Cottrell is nearly as good as the best of Joe's bowls uh, marker indicating that Edwards is still holding shot. Still holding that bowl sitting virtually locked. Kelsey Cottrell bowl locked on the Joe Edwards bowl. I don't think we'll see any heroics here from Joe Edwards. I think we'll see more of the cover to the back as Kelsey Cottrell might. Well, difficult for her to attack it because you can't see a clear line 
down to the shop bowl or the jack. So it would be um, difficult for Kelsey Cottrell to attack it. But I'm I'm picking that Joe Edwards, trailing 3-2 in the race to 21, will be quite content to say, so you play the shot, Kelsey, and I'm going to get down in behind the head just to give me some cover in case. Yeah, and Edwards has certainly <clears throat> taken the wider line with this bowl than her previous three. And she's certainly saying, well, I'm not going to go anywhere near the head. It's uh, up to you, Kelsey, to... And she didn't get past, or Joe Edwards didn't get to the back where she really wanted to. But big shot required here from Kelsey Cottrell to secure the shot. But as Brendan rightly said, she was so close there with her third bowl. In fact, sat right on the Joe Edwards shot bowl. Kelsey Cottrell now on the mat. Will play on her forehand. Certainly on that same, uh, it's on a wider line with weight. And that'll stay outside the head for sure. And it'll be a one to New Zealand. So it ties things up. Three apiece. Kelsey Cottrell of Australia. Joe Edwards of New Zealand in this first to 21 match. Women's singles in the women's fours alongside New Zealand after two ends leading 2-0. But in the men's matches, it's all Australia so far. Aaron Wilson leading Shannon McElroy in the men's singles 7-0. In the men's fours, Australia leading New Zealand 8-0 after two of the 15 ends <coughs> of that men's fours match. And as it currently stands there, obviously Australia will be forcing a deciding third test in the men's Trans-Tasman. Zealand are keeping their hopes alive in the women. They need to win both of these matches. The singles match we're bringing to you and the fours as well that have any chance of sending their Trans-Tasman to a decider tomorrow at Broad Beach. So Joey Bitch plays her first bowl. Be disappointed with that. Meter and a bit short. Kelsey Cottrell now. Some play as well. The wind scurries through here, and that certainly affected the Kelsey Cottrell bowl, which just stayed out on that wide side. Comes back though to the centre line, but a good two metres higher the jack. So Joe Edwards now will play again down on her forehand. About a metre and a bit to draw the shot. Or well, got the shot, but to draw one close to the jack, and that'll be. Certainly the aim of Joe Edwards here and looks to be on a good line here. Does the Edwards bowl, gets the jack, touch it. Oh, certainly been a beautiful display of draw bowls the last couple of ends from Joe Edwards. Multiple touches in the previous end. And now Kelsey Cottrell looking to respond this isn't a bad response as well it's going to make its way to the jack just sitting in behind it and that will be the shot good draw ball there from kelsey cottrell and joe ebbers asking how far behind the jack it is and it sits pretty much only about a few centimeters behind joe ebbers appears to be about 18 inches lower of the jack according to the indication from the lot well, the ito lollipop man is we'll commonly know as so Joe Edwards now trying to reach down to this bowl of Cottrell this is a great opportunity here Edwards going to get the jack in fact got a touch on the jack and in doing so unfortunately just moved it slightly close up to the Kelsey Cottrell bowl but still a very very good bowl by the New Zealand singles player oh, it certainly was and just the fine margins of course at this top level just really millimetres away from trailing that jack back and sitting alongside her bowl but instead just gets the outside of the jack and touches it closer. It's actually pinned in right behind that Kelsey Cottrell bowl just to the right of the centre line. Well, four of the last seven bowls of Joe Everett have actually been touches. 
as she plays her eighth bowl now, but four of the four have been touches. This is and one of those bowls she deliberately didn't try and <laughs> draw. And close to the jack. again here, close here to the jack. Look at this from look, superb bowl there. That's this is an exhibition, isn't it? <laughs> uh, Kelsey Cottrell must be thinking, what is going on? This is unbelievable. And we've got to say credit to Kelsey Cottrell that despite all this, so far she's only dropped the, the one shot. Potentially here, is it one or two? Could be two. Joe Edwards is perhaps holding, but she can certainly limit the damage despite Joe Edwards playing so well. She well, might only drop two shots. Certainly can, but you know, there must be a great confidence boost today for Joe Edwards who sort of has been sort of struggling to get, a, get things going. Uh, in the singles, uh, but she's got things going here in this game. As we watch this bowler, Kelsey Cottrell is going to go past on the wide side, and it will definitely be New Zealand that score. Jawed will score, just a matter of what the number is. I think it's just one. Lollipop man's only got the one. He He's has. waiting to see what the players have to say, and it's confirmed. Just the one. But the it was that brilliant bowl from Joe Edwards. She was so close from the previous one. Executes with her next and that male makes it 4-3 New Zealand leading Joe Edwards leading Kelsey Cottrell in this first 221 matchup and New Zealand's on the board now Shannon McElroy in the men's singles 7-2 he is trailing Aaron Wilson in the men's fours shut out at the moment to Australia 10-0 they lead after three ends so, uh, racing away with that one. And after three ends of the women's fours, it's New Zealand 4-0. So, looking like a good back bounce back so far from the Caitlin Inch skip New Zealand four after they gave up a 9-3 lead to lose 25-10 in the first session of this second Trans-Tasman test. So, Joe Edwards plays her first bowl, leading now four shots to three. And just under Jack Lowe, the bowl comes. And now, following the line of Joe Edwards is Kelsey Cottrell. Looks to be on a good line. Just needs to get underneath the Joe Edwards bowl and does so and sits alongside the jack and will certainly be shot. Will the Kelsey Cottrell bowl? Joe Edwards asking how much room is there to draw the shot. And Edwards now going back to her forehand, trying to draw down where she drew so well on that last end coming down this way. This is on a good line as well as it breaks towards the jack and drags the jack around the corner yet again. Another touch up from the New Zealand player. This really is incredible, isn't it? It's nearly bowl after bowl, just peppering the jack. And just like we saw with the men's fours, ma men's pairs match, excuse me, that we brought you earlier today where there was so much movement of a jack arguably there's more in this match just from Joe Edwards especially on the last few ends. So the indication there one to Joe Edwards in this race to 21 and she'll be buoyed no doubt by her play so far and no doesn't want to risk moving the jack, does Edwards, and now changing to the backhand. And this too, this is on a good line, this bowl, Brendan, as well. Just got to get past her own. It makes two, indication, the man, very quickly. He is, isn't he? He's, he's rapid. After ev nearly every bowl, yeah. he's up with the... Got to be quick to see it. He's but he's obviously away. very handy he's with ready. his camera angle, right behind his, his hand. There's the Kelsey Cottrell bowl. Again, well weighted to get to the area she wanted to get to, but just went by on the wide side. Joe Edwards now will more than likely change her hand. No, she's not. She's going again on that backhand, trying to get down to make contact with her own. Would also count and give it some cover on the trail shot. And that's where Joe Edwards is. Heading for, played perfectly by Edwards. Mixes up right in amongst the two Australian bowls. Holding two shots. Kelsey Cottrell coming to have a, a look at the head, but well played again this head by Joe Edwards. Um, I think the big thing with singles players, Brenton, is that if you start the game off well and you've got consistency in your draw play and you get 
you know, you, you know where the line is, and those players know their weight well enough. But we, once you know where the line is, and as we've seen now with Joe Edwards, the last three years, virtually all of the bowls have been finishing, not, they've not been ducking across the head at all, all finishing towards the centre line, thus giving you the scoring chances. And that start has been the big issue for Joe Edwards in these yep. matches against Kelsey Koch. All three of her defeats, she's given up a big early lead. She's been able to claw it back twice and <coughs> has been unlucky to, to lose Very two of unlucky. those matches. But again this morning, got out to a big lead, Kelsey Cottrell. This time, Joe Edwards wasn't given an opportunity to come back. Kelsey, Cott Kelsey Cottrell rather closing out that match 21 shots to nine so it's very promising signs for joe edwards as we Here's see the, the weight and it's not on target at all so it will be two two more to new zealand's joe edwards six three now in this race 221 women's quite singles i'm not quite sure what joe edwards is earlier on today after she lost that singles game this morning she made the comment uh, I'm going back to the basics now. I, I don't really know what she m meant by that, you know, in her own game or, or game plan or game process or tactics that she had. But after losing this morning, she's like, I'm going back to basics. So whether Joe's just saying, right, well, I'm going back to how I normally play the game and, um, you know. Well, interesting. Well, I'll endeavour to speak with her afterwards. Make sure you check out the Bowls New Zealand Facebook page after this game and we'll endeavour to have a chat with Joe Edwards another member of the Black Jacks no doubt one of the Black Jacks men as well depending on how they fare in their matches which we'll continue to keep you up to date with along with this women's singles match we've got women's fours alongside men's singles and men's fours and that's another near touch up right back to that centre line no, which you're just, just talking about perfect draw bowls uh, it's, it's the key it's the key no doubt about that especially you know with your first bowl Brendan because you cut the vision off to the jack as well it's very very difficult when you can't see exactly where the jack sits and that helps though for Kelsey Cottrell did get a touch on the bowl just exposes the jack fractionally out to the side and the in the ITO indicating that it's just a few in inches away in fact Jack Lowe of the the bowl and I'm sure we'll see Joe Edwards the big thing for Joe Edwards she'll want to get consistency on one hand and not swapping hand and it's interesting talking to the two Shannon McElroy and Gary Lawson after they came off the rink there after the pairs game and they were remarking how on the different pace on one hand compared to the to the other and it was quite deceiving we obviously we were near the green but they were saying it was actually you know, it was a bit tricky because it was definitely two two different paces and that's why joe Webber certainly won't want to be she wanted to get consistency on hand that she favors and getting results with uh, rather than having to duck and dive and change her hand consistently as we watch now kelsey cottrell again will just slide away under the centre line, under the centre line, and the bowl. What Joe Edwards asking the technical officer there? Where is the bowl in relation to the jack? And the technical officer indicating it's just slightly high of the jack, so that gives Joe Edwards the ability to be able to play safely down on that hand to draw inside the Kelsey Cottrell bowl to get to the jack. And this is a pretty good effort here from Edwards. Gets in fact the outside of the bowl doesn't do any damage but the good thing about that is that it does make the Joe Edwards bowl third shot she's got first and third shot in the back bowl so that means the head is looking comfortable yeah given few options at yeah. this stage to her counterpart Kelsey Cottrell Cottrell now trying to get contact onto the Joe Edwards bowl to turn it over onto her own to make shot of it just slightly under the line. And I just quickly saw that scoreboard as they flicked around there. Brennan 4-2 to New Zealand. What the woman's fours is 4-2 to New Zealand. I'm not sure how many ends have gone by, but four ends completed. I'll quickly bring you up to date with all those scores. 10-2 in the men's singles now with 
Aaron Wilson leading New Zealand's Shannon McElroy. So Aaron Wilson, who lost the first two singles encounters with Shannon McElroy, going very well there. And after four ends in the men's fours, it's Australia 11, New Zealand 0. So a tough old contest for the New Zealand men so far there. Australia running away with it. And very much looking to force a decider in this Trans Tasman Test Series at Broadbeach tomorrow after New Zealand men won the first at Club Helensvale yesterday. So here now is a Joe Edwards bold just slipping through under the hedge. You won't be too <coughs> concerned about that with Edwards leading 6 3 and holding shot in the race to 21 against Kelsey Cottrell. Of course, Joe Edwards endeavouring to get her first win here in the singles. She celebrates her 50th birthday today and be a nice present for her to finish the day. And hopefully the fours can do their bit and win as well and keep that test series alive as well because that's what they need to do. Differential isn't a starter for the woman. It's got, it's got to be Ws. Well, it's going to come down to differential though, isn't it? Uh, even if they have to win both of these yeah, and true. then just to, to tie this test and then it comes down to differential. So Kelsey Cottrell playing with the weight to try and dislodge that shot pole, unable to find the, quite the right line. So another to Joe Edwards, 7-3 she now leads in this race to 21. Women's singles action. New Zealand leading in the women's fours alongside, 4-2 four after four ends. But both New Zealand teams, both Shannon McElroy in the singles and the men's four, well down to Australia. So a lot of work for them to do, but so far so good for the women as they try and overturn a minus 20 shot differential. So over these two games, they have to win by combined 21, which is a big, big ask. I suppose it's slightly easier, would you say, in the singles, if you can. Obviously, 21 is the most you can score. Yeah. If you can get on a roll, you can maybe close out the singles well, quicker. You can close it. If you're really on form and things are going good, you can close it out real quick. You know, and look at this ball from Joe Edwards in behind that jack again, right to the centre line. And to me, I haven't seen the other singles matches, but from what I've seen right now, well, except for the last end of the second game yesterday when Kelsey Cottrell drove the jack in the ditch when Joe had four balls in and around the jack. But to me, the confidence it's going to give Joe Edwards now is Joe Edwards is the one who's getting onto it straight away, getting back to the centre line and putting pressure immediately on her opponent. As we see the tall Joe Edwards, it's that characteristic delivery head goes down walks out to the side fractionally and this two breaking down towards the head and it's going to sit just jack level and will definitely count for sure Kelsey Cottrell play on her backhand trying to uh, get to that shot bowl of Joe Edwards isn't it's a good attempt here from the Australian player well played by Kelsey Cottrell draws right to the jack drew around her own front bowl well for the first end in, in a few Kelsey Cottrell's actually had an opening there the door was slightly ajar by Joe Edwards because she hasn't been pretty much attached to the, the jack as she has been for the last three, four ends. She's been sitting on the jack the last three years, hasn't she? So Edwards now will come down on her forehand and try and reach that of the shot bowl or get a touch on the jack. Looks on the wide side. How far is it going to come back? Moving back now and just going to go by ever so fractionally falls over. Still moving. In the one, two, Australia. Kelsey Cottrell on her backhand playing her third bowl. Good effort to draw around her own bowl. She's on that line again as Cottrell. Another good line here. Is it going to get by? Yes, it is. It's well played by the Australian, but it makes two shots. So Joey Bids will no doubt try and reach 
down with a wee bit of reaching weight to get some movement on the jack. Looks as though she's going to play with a lot of weight, in fact. And driving on the bed, didn't like that at all. New Zealand, she let it go. Whereas going outside the head and two to the marker indicated it was two. Yeah, that previous bowl from Joey was just falling in. So it'll be interesting to see if that's changed the count. Oh, yeah. one. Yeah, it is. because one. it fell in. Yeah. You know, you yeah. were talking about how it was moving and it finally <laughs> fell in with that last little gust of wind. Took a long time. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it did. It thought about it for a while. So now that means uh, I think Kelsey Cottrell telling the marker. I think it's actually only one now and the marker agreeing. So Kelsey Cottrell will try and turn it into two. Well, she certainly played two very good draw bowls down that backhand side of the ring. Looks to be wider outside her front bowl. Yeah, and this is isn't going to count, so I'll just be one to Kelsey Cottrell, but she'll get the jack and the mat back. So 7-4, now the score. New Zealand's Joe Edwards leading Australia's Kelsey Cottrell. And in the women's fours alongside... Scoreboard currently pinned, but I can give you an update from the Shannon McElroy match against Aaron Wilson of Australia. Aaron Wilson now out to a 12 2 advantage. So Aaron Wilson looking to stop the rot against McElroy, who's won the last two singles contests. I believe it's still 4 2 playing the fifth end to the New Zealand women's four. And in the men's fours, New Zealand's finally on the board. After five ends, they trail 11-1 now in the men's force. Well, early indications are that tomorrow could be a big day for the men at Broad Beach. Yeah. Long way to go. Well, but well, well, at this stage, certainly looking like a decider because New Zealand need to win both of these matches in the men to make sure of it. Uh, uh, splitting the matches... At this stage, probably won't be enough given they're behind and shot differential as well. Not by as much as the women are. Ten was that the number? I, I heard Ali Forsyth. Yeah, I think it? think it was around around the ten. I hadn't actually calculated it, but that sounds about right. Now, interesting here, Brenton, isn't it? That we've seen Joe Everts playing that consistent line, but Kelsey Cottrell now got the jack and has delivered it. Del delivered it to what we call the Australian length. <laughs> Something's just crashed here somewhere. I don't know what it is. No, we've got a sound effects microphone, and there's uh, something dropped just above it. So it uh, made it sound very loud in our, in our headphones, and no doubt for all of you you watching, uh, I think the people next to it don't quite realise that there's a microphone right there. Let's, yeah, let's hope they don't start playing the drums or anything like that. So Kelsey Cottrell has taken the jack to the two-metre mark, which is, we, Brendan and I call it the Australian length, because that's... All disciplines, that's that they've consistently done. And Joe Ebert's now having to readjust her line from where she was been playing so well uh, earlier on in this match and coming back to the centre line, but would still be Australia holding the shot as they change this length. And Joe Ebert's will desperately trying to get the shot as quickly as possible so she can get back to Joe Ebert's get back to her favoured length. And it's certainly been so evident right throughout the whole event that the Australians' preference to the two-metre mark has certainly been there. And they've been consistent. And you can hear Joe Edwards asking how far short her bowl was. And it looks like, yeah, a metre and a bit would be low of the jack, asking the uh, ITO. Joe Everett will just try to get down to the two metre mark and that'll certainly give her shot with her third bowl. Bit of wind blowing, buffeting around. Edward's just waiting for that wind to recede a wee bit. Here is now Joe Everett's out of the hand. It looked to be on a good line, That just certainly on a wider line. Joe Edwards following this bowl up to the head. Just though, going to die on weight. Certainly had that wider line was what she wanted. She'll be disappointed with that. Yeah, she can tell with her body language there as well. Bit of a shake of the head. No, what was that? Damn it. Yeah, she knew that was the, you know, certainly got it out on that much needed wider line. Yeah, 
unfortunately not the weight. Needed a couple more metres really of, of weight to grab the shot. Kelsey Cottrell looks like she might be coming up a bit short as well. Well, in between here's those two Joe Edwards bowls. Well, the good thing as far as Joe Edwards is concerned is a, a Kelsey Cottrell low holding the shot. We think holding the shot hasn't actually capitalised on the on the Joe Edwards bowls, and, and so jo Joe Edwards if down is only going to drop one at the most anyway if she doesn't draw the shot here. So here is Joe Edwards on come walking to the mat now. Foreman Nelson player, parent or father here watching. Been here each day. Of course, the father is a, is a member here of Musgrave Hills. And here's now this last bowl to Joe Ever just looks a better bowl. Here's the weight now as it breaks down towards the head. Is it going to stop in time? Yes, it will. Well played by the New Zealand singles player. Is it enough for the shot? I think one, so. There's one is being indicated by the marker. And Kelsey Cottrell has just given up the jack in the mat. So another shot to... Joe Edwards, 8-4, now in this first 221 women's singles matchup. And no doubt we'll see, as we are going to see, Joe Edwards straight away shortens the length up, certainly not interested in getting down to that two metre mark, the Australian length. So we'll say we've got the Australian length is at the two metre mark, and New Zealand's is way, way away from that length. New Zealand playing virtually the three-quarter length heads. Joe Edwards now on her backhand and her first bowl. Shannon McElroy has just scored on back-to-back -back ends in the men's singles against Aaron Wilson. So it's now Aaron Wilson 12, Shannon McElroy 5. In the men's fours alongside that match, it's still 11-1 to Australia after five ends. And now after five ends of the women's fours, it's all tied up at four apiece and just reminding you that you know, New Zealand need to win both of these women's matches if they have a chance of winning this Trans-Tasman test and keeping these series alive and forcing a decider tomorrow at Broad Beach they don't just have to win though they have to win by decent margins trailing margins by 20 going into these two games so, so plus four here is a good start. Still a lot of work to do for New Zealand as Joe Edwards, the second, comes up short. So seemed like she had a magnet with the with her bowls and the jack, a few ends, but seems to have gone away again. It certainly had the, the bowls on a string earlier. And Kelsey Cottrell. Now breaking back right down towards the centre line. One to New Zealand is the indication from our man Barry. We'll call him Barry on the backhand. <laughs> Joe Edwards, the ITO. And Joe Edwards holding the shot. Certainly got this bolt out on a wider line. And how far is this coming back towards? This is going to come back into the centre line for sure. This bowl and will come inside the centre line. That'll certainly count. And two, we can already see. Oh, he's giving the secret signals, Brendan. Two behind the back. Yeah, he's not telling the players. <laughs> <laughs> he's just tell, telling our camera, which is very kind of him. Yeah, it's very and good. That, those supporters behind him. Yeah, I think he will no doubt tell the players after this one, although Kelsey Cottrell's already followed it down, so no yeah, need to shot. tell her, especially now that's changed. So indicating just to Joe Edwards after holding two. Is now having to try and grab the shot back for her from Kelsey Cottrell. Playing on the backhand side with her final oh. bowl of this end. Looks on a this decent on a line. line. Hasn't got enough weight. Just going to go by the jack as it sits and holds. Just wait and see. That's one to New Zealand. Even though it fell out, Mark is still indicating one to New Zealand. So. Kelsey Cottrell didn't seem to disagree with that, so she knows she needs to better that bowl. Well played there by Joe Everett. She could either draw the shot, she had some options to sit on the bowl, get a touch on the jack. Edwards drawing the shot. It's just an indication there about how camera angles can be deceiving, isn't it? Because certainly from the previous angle, and this is a, a better angle to show 
how close that, that Joe Edwards' bowl is and how much further away that Kelsey Cottrell bowl is. But the previous angle from right behind the head certainly would favour the Kelsey Cottrell bowl, wouldn't you? Certainly did. And here's Cottrell now. Of course, playing on a narrower line with her bowls anyway, going to run into her own and uh, get a slide. No, it doesn't. Goes by and go oh, by. Another, another shot to Joe Edwards. 9-4 now in this first 221 women's singles. This is the third and final session of the second Trans-Tasman test here at Musgrave Hill on Australia's Gold Coast. We're at Club Helensvale. For the first test will be at Broadbeach for the final test tomorrow. Can the women make it a decider? They need to win both of this, these matches, the women's singles here and the women's fours alongside. They need to win by healthy margin as well that'll win this test and level up the series the men they are trying to win the trans tasman here win their two matches and they'll do just that win the trans tasman for the first time in 11 years so here now is joe edwards playing her first bowl Leading nine to four, nine four. And it's gonna break back and sit virtually Jack level. And if again New Zealand playing to that shorter length, which they're certainly more comfortable with. And hear that wind as we watch now that Kelsey Cottrell Bowl looks to be on a good line as well. This breaks towards the Jack and that will be Shot, I would imagine, no indication from our man. But looking on that, it's still short, so could well still be one to New Zealand, but a lot of bowls to come, of course. And Joe Edwards was celebrating her 50th birthday today. Husband Dave, we see here, and her father. And I know she'd love to win this match. As we watch this bowler, Joe Edwards, break down towards the jack, coming back towards the centre line, going to sit jack level. And certainly, I think it was the shot indicated by the marker. Is there anything else you've got to do in there, Martha? So, Kelsey Cottrell looks to be under that line. And short too. So, still that. Joe Edwards bowl just to the right of the jack is the shot. You can see just to the left on this camera angle. Pretty much jack level. So Joe Edwards here looks to be slightly under what is her normal line, but it's getting down to the jack now. Will it count? Not sure. We'll see what the Marker has to say, and he's let us down. Looks to be counting on that angle, but as Brenton rightly said, the angles can be very, very deceiving. He'll, he'll let us know after this bowl here. Don't you worry. He's been pretty reliable, old lollipop so, man. Uh, that'll be the shot now to Australia for sure. Here, Joey was asking, where's Kelsey Cottrell's bowl in relation to the jack, whether it's level or just short? From here, the bowl looks to be... It's just short, but I think, uh, what the uh, marker indicated. Yeah, it looks to be about a bowl jack low. So, Joe Edwards, yeah, will endeavour to try and, say, reach that bowl of Kelsey Cottrell's. That'll be her target to try and get to the yellow bowl of the Australian bowl or promote her own onto the jack. Certainly was in the target area, but not to be. Great attempt yeah, there. Hands on head from Joe Edwards. Yeah. He knows you a bit less weight. That would have been perfect. Just a couple, a yard or two of too much weight has actually pushed away that bowl beyond the head. So as it stands, Kelsey Cottrell will be claiming the jack in the mat back. This is with it. She's able to score a second here. Of course, the challenge for Joe Everett's playing those shots is that you, you've got to be able to play with a 
a decent amount of weight for the bowl to hold up on the line as we watch this bowl of Kelsey Cottrell's get a touch on the jack. We saw the jack move back. But it's still, I think we won to Australia and yeah, so Joe Edwards hand the mat over. So Yeah, one, the lollipop goes up for uh, our market. So 9-5 now. Joe Edwards leading Kelsey Cottrell of Australia. In the first to 21. Uh, now in the women's fours after six ends, Australia now leading. So they trailed 4-0, I think, from memory. Now they lead 5-4. 5-4 in the women's singles after six ends of the... For women's fours, excuse me. After six ends of the 15. It's now 14-5. Aaron Wilson over Shannon McElroy in the men's singles. And after seven ends of the men's fours... Australia leading New Zealand 12-4. So Australia now up in three of the four matches in this third and final session of the second Trans-Tasman test here at Musgrave Hill. As Kelsey Cottrell with her first finishes up well short. So Joe Edwards will certainly want to capitalise on that short bowl played by Kelsey Cottrell. And Joe Edwards too going to be short. It's interesting. Australia, this time have elected not to go to the two metre mark. In fact, a couple of metres short of that. Joe Edwards couldn't capitalise on the short bowl of Kelsey Cottrell falling short herself. So Kelsey Cottrell certainly got more weight with this se her second bowl. That now breaks down towards the jack. It's going to go past slightly, but finishes right on the centre line. And will certainly be shot. Joe Edwards will follow that bowl on her forehand. Playing down towards the commentary position here. As we watch this bowler, Joe Edwards is now start to break towards the head. Is the weight going to be enough to get all the way? No, it's not. One to Australia, as indicated by our ITO. We might see Kelsey Crotcher, in fact, change her hand so she doesn't get tangled up. No, I wanted to draw down between the two New Zealand bowls. And that Kelsey Crotcher is going to do, draws down in between... The two short Joe Edwards' bowls. That'll make two. So Joe Edwards as well has got to persist down that line, making sure she gets under her own bowl on that draw to get to where the two shots are held by Kelsey Cottrell. Someone obviously moved. Joe Edwards just pulled back then. It may have just been a gust of wind as well. She's got great control on the mat when she's not feeling... 100%. If there is a bit of a wind or, yeah, like you say, someone moving in her, her eye line, she will pull out, start again. So here's this bow of Edwards trying to get to the jack. Going to be desperately unlucky. Had great weight for it. Just slipped by. Still lane two for Australia. And Joe Edwards leading 9-5-9-5 to Joe Edwards in the race to 21 in this women's singles match. Of course, we'll bring you three disciplines again tomorrow. We'll, obviously, the men could be have the opportunity tomorrow to play for Trans-Tasman glory. And we'll be keeping you up to date right throughout the day of those results. Well, so far, it's playing the script as a reverse of the last Trans-Tasman when the New Zealand women won the first test and then unfortunately lost the, the next two, whereas the men lost the first two tests and then eventually the third to so the third was a, a dead rubber for them while it was a decider for the women. And the way it's looking at the There's moment... Joe Ebert trying to get that result and just unfortunate, played with weight to... Rest on the count. Kelsey Cottrell bowls got one, was three down, remaining now two to Australia. Nine seven now, nine seven to Joe Edwards in the race 221. Yeah, so the way it's looking is that it will be a dead rubber for the 
New Zealand women, unless they can come up really with a, a bit of a miracle. Uh, the, the second half of their games, they've got in progress at the moment. And while it's looking good for Joe Edwards here, she does need to win this and, and win well. And the women's four, which is currently down after six ends, five four, they also have to win and win well to level the test at three all and then try and make a comeback on sh shot differential. Well, for the men, the way Australia's going at the moment in these men's matches right now, looking like they will be losing the second test, but they will have a decider. Uh, winner takes all third tests to decide their Trans-Tasman, and for the men, I suppose, it takes on extra significance, Kevin, because of the fact they haven't won the Trans-Tasman since 2009. It certainly does, and, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's important for a number of reasons why we can get that New Zealand victory. Uh, of course, New Zealand um, spots up for grabs within the World Bowls team, which I believe will be announced must be shortly after the completion of the Trans-Tasman. And then in a couple of days, well, it might be the next day, I'm not sure, but I know it's going to be very shortly afterwards. So important for the players such as Mike Kernahan, uh, Crystal Leave, of course, as well, Andrew Kelly, back in New Zealand after the birth of their first child in the early hours of this morning. Uh, it's fair to say, I'd just about to say, McElroy, Forsyth and Lawson are, uh, are odds on, as are Caitlin Inch, Bell Smith and Joe Edwards. And I think there's two spots up for grabs in each one of those sides. More than likely, Mike Kernahan would have a pretty much a head start as a well, now that Jamie Hill's unavailable for international play, I think obviously it removes one of the leading contenders. And so Certainly really it's does. between Chris Laleve and, and Andrew Kelly, you would you would have thought. Yeah, because Andrew Kelly is not going to pick someone who hasn't played for New Zealand no, in, the, not. in the last no. few well, series. Well, I'd be surprised, very, very surprised. I, because as we know, Ben, and you and I have been there, we've seen three lots of international fixtures. They've had the Asia Pacific. We've had the Trans Tasman, the Multi Nations, and other Trans Tasman, and we've used that same virtual group of eight or nine players. So sure, McElroy and Kernahan weren't available when we had the last series, and we had uh, Kirsten Edwards in the in the Asia Pacific. She's not here. Then we had Taylor Bruce playing in the uh, the Multi Nations and the uh, first uh, Trans Tasman. She's not at this particular fixture. So no doubt that the players who are going to be selected will come out of that, that group. And, uh, and of course they'll have played enough bowls on these surfaces as well as you watch this bowl at Joe Edwards. Is it going to get all the way down to the jack for shot? at a sit inside. We'll see what the marker says. Looks like it from our spot here. I mean, it's going to, Kelsey Cottrell has obviously asked who's got the shot. And the indication, one to Australia. 9-7, Joe Edwards leads. And we're certainly looking forward, Brendan and myself, and Ben and the others, bringing you the World Bowls. But, of course, in between them, we've got a few other events as well. Brendan has not which we'll be uh, bringing to you all. The oh, it's not far away from the Somerset National Fours. I see that the draws yeah, I see are out. It, yeah. So go to bowlsnewzealand.co.nz if you are playing or... Either you're looking to see what the big matchups are going to be in section play. That's going to be starting later this month. In Mount Monganui finishing in the early March. And then we've got yeah a number of other events yeah. as well. And National Winter Centre and North v South and National Secondary Schools. <laughs> Plenty of tournaments before we even think about getting back over here, Kevin, to the World Bowls Championships, which are Starting in late May, held over two weeks, the last week of May and the first week of June. So, Kelsey Cottrell's had a good look at the head to see who's got shot. And here is Kelsey Cottrell, was a New Zealander by birth, but uh, obviously her view. Joe Everidge has got the shot, obviously, could go in for the drive. And Joe Everidge has definitely got the shot now. Yeah, that has not worked out how she wanted it to work out, that's for sure. She was either thinking that Joe Edwards has a shot, or maybe I can knock out those two black bowls and maybe have three yeah. myself. But all it has done with a slightly wayward drive is knock one of the black bowls right resting on the jack. And now with 
Joe Edwards to play the last. A chance for her to make it two and to reinstate that four-shot advantage. Certainly is, and Joe Edwards, of course, if she was fortunate enough to sit the bowl out on that draw side, only just got to turn over once. We'll get a touch on the jack, could possibly make three, but Joe Edwards just be concentrating, no doubt, on endearing to draw another, another shot, leading 9-7. And certainly is on a good width, got a good line. So it breaks down towards the jack now. Is it going to get all the way? No, it's not. Hasn't got the weight to get all the way. That's not far away. But it should only just be the one, I believe. Although Joe Edwards might want to have a quick look. Yeah, just have this the one. Happy to just take the one. And she's got the jack and the mat back. So 10-7. Joe Edwards now leading Kelsey Cottrell of Australia in the women's singles and the women's fours on the rink alongside. New Zealand has got the lead back. So they were 5-4 down. They're now 8-5 up. So must have picked up a four in the previous end. So seven ends completed there in the men's fours. Bit of a comeback. They were 11-0 down. They're now 12-6 down after eight of the 15 ends in that contest. And I'll see if I can see the men's singles scoreboard. A few players obstructing that at the moment. We'll give you an update shortly from Aaron Wilson's match against Shannon McElroy of New Zealand. McElroy having won the previous two encounters. Looking for a hat-trick of wins over Wilson. But Wilson, at last check, had quite a significant lead. So Joe Ever just played her first bowl, so just lower the jack. Kelsey Cottrell's reply is a metre lower of the jack as well. So Joe Edwards now will play on her backhand. And Brenton will give you that singles score in a moment. Just waiting for the people to move. Yeah, all the women's fours players currently all, as you can see, the scoreboard's behind those uh, Australian players. So. Uh, another good bowl here from Joe Ever, just going to sit underneath the jack. And slips by and finishes just higher the jack, but holding two shots. Kelsey Cottrell, the Australian player, play down on her backhand with Joe Edwards holding the shot in a 10 7 lead. Kelsey Cottrell trying to get to the jack and draws the jack neatly. Touch it on the jack and just moves. And so you'd have heard the technical official just indicating to Joe Edwards that the Australian shot bowl just sits slightly lower than Jack, but Edwards can play with weight to reach that bowl or make contact with the Jack. Here is now the Joe Edwards bowl now breaking down towards the centre line and a fall underneath it. We're going to make turn her own bowl over. No, it doesn't. Just makes that line a wee bit harder, in fact, to the jack. So you heard clearly then, half a bowl short of the jack is the Kelsey Cottrell shot bowl. Changing her hand is the Australian singles player trying to reach, turn the Joe Edwards second shot bowl over. Certainly playing with weight to do that. It's on a good line as this bowl from Cottrell. And it gets the jack, moves it down around the corner. Joe Edwards applauds that shot from the Australian player. Made two of it in the shot bowl. Oh, very good bowl, isn't it? Superb. Supremely good bowl from Kelsey Cottrell. She shows little emotion, but yes. Uh, great a round of applause or appreciation shown from Joe Edwards. That, yes, that was a very good bowl. Taking her hat off to Kelsey Cottrell. And how does she now respond? So, uh, Edwards will, Joe Edwards will play down on her backhand. The jack just fractionally off the centre line. Lane two up is the Kelsey Cottrell. Edwards will try and reach the shot bowl or jack on her backhand. It's on its way out on that arc known for the Joe Edwards bowl. Looks to be, though, too much tracking on the wide side. Turns it back on it, will come back towards the centre line, but still two down is the count with one to come from Kelsey Cottrell. We could be 
So he could be all locked up at 10 all, possibly, after this last bowl of Kelsey Cottrell. Edwards leading 10-7, but two down here on the head. Aaron Wilson leading 15-7 over New Zealand's Shannon McElroy in the men's singles match, of course. Another first to 21 affair. Kelsey Cottrell trying to make it three to try and level the match. Is it going to come back? It's now starting to draw back to the centre line, but it's not going to be enough. So it should just be two. Agreed quickly between the two players. Two to Kelsey Cottrell. So 10-9. Now Joe Edwards' lead is cut to just one. Here's Kelsey Cottrell. So the weather gods have been kind to us, Brendan. We were waiting for that, uh, although the chance of rain had sort of lessened today, but there were still talks about rain hanging around, but we really have got through another day and uh, without any interruption, and hopefully we'll get through tomorrow as well. And despite the adverse weather conditions that were forecasted, we, uh, we might just uh, defy all the odds and get through the three days without any weather interruption. Yeah, certainly. Fingers fingers crossed. It's uh, held off well today. Uh, bad weather, I think, certainly avoided Musgrave Hill, just like it avoided Club Helensvale yesterday. And certainly I hope it will be the case tomorrow for Broad Beach. Yeah, when we first saw the weather forecast last week and then on Monday as we look forward to Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday it was looking fairly bleak and we thought there was very high possibility that games would be rained off, made unplayable due to sitting water but certainly hasn't been the case. There's been very minimal rain actually in fact. Uh, just the odd bit of precipitation, the odd drizzle really today and, and yesterday. Uh, nothing that's going to impact on play as the wind really starts to build up though <laughs> right now. So maybe something's coming in. It's certainly in the last, as we've been talking in fact, in this last couple of minutes, the wind certainly picked up as we didn't affect Kelsey Cottrell though as she drew her first bolt sitting right on top of the jack and of course sitting here at Musgrave Hill where as you rightly said this morning, Brendan, we are sitting at one of the highest points on the Gold Coast. Certainly, it's uh, we're up on the heights, all right. And it's not it's not actually that far above sea level, but in comparison uh, to everything the, else uh, around uh, the area, it, it, it is it is a lot tall, lot taller, and yeah. you can, it's got a pretty good view from from up here. That's uh, that's for sure. But unfortunately for Lord Bowls, it means that you're going to get a lot of wind because the all the wind pretty much in the area. So it's the Joe Edwards bowl fell desperately short and Kelsey Cottrell said, right, well, I'm going to make you pay for that, Joe Edwards, and certainly he has. He's has got one sitting right on top of the jack and just another one just in behind it. So Joe Edwards, this time for sure, this bowl for sure, will be making sure that she gets as close as she can to the counting area. Uh, this women's singles match, Kevin, markedly different to the one earlier. Is This is a good uh, look bowl, at this good response. Joe Edwards. Well played by the New Zealand player. Kelsey Cottrell bowl sitting just about on top of the jack. And Joe Edwards made amends in that first bowl. Cottrell won the first meeting between the pair today, 21-9. And by this stage, as far as time goes, it was all over. It's all Within over. an hour, that contest was done. Here's the replay of that Joe Edwards bowl. Now you'll see it just crawl towards the jack, get a touch on it. Well played by the New Zealander, and the good thing about it is it just does just cut that line off a wee bit on the other hand with that very, very short bowl of Joe Edwards, and we're going to see the effect of that, are we, in a moment? Playing with a lot of weight is Cottrell. This is a good bowl. No, it got the, got the... It was a great attempt to play under the Joe Edwards short bowl. Well, she thought she was in it with a chance, and then she, she was. came with her little hop, skip, and a jump after that one as well. Tapping the heels together in excitement. Uh, it's important here that Joe Ebert gets another bowl 
on the head close by because Kelsey Cottrell's indicated what shot that she's going to be playing. And the New Zealand shot bolt is certainly sitting out clean to be driven out of the head. So Edwards will be desperately endeavouring to get another bolt on the head. And it may be a change of hands here from Joe Edwards. No, still persisting down on that forehand side. And breaking down towards the head now. Making sure that she's into the area, trying to sit on, and that's fine. That's well played by Joe Ebbett. better than fine. It might be a second shot, Kevin. Yeah, but I'm still <laughs> thinking we're going to see Cottrell try and drive. She can get rid of both, both of those balls. It may lose one of her own as well on the outside of that, but certainly I'm sure that there'll be an attack. And I see that New Zealand, the woman's four is now leading 9-5. To sort the scoreboard quickly there. Yeah, after eight ends now of the 15. So they were 5-4 down after being 4-0 up. So it's been a topsy-turvy meeting in the women's fours. Of course, the women's fours went Australia's way earlier today, 25-10 after New Zealand had led 9-3. So that was also a bit of an up and down Fear is now Kelsey Cottrell playing with that weight, trying to oh. get towards those two counting bowls, but unfortunately for her, runs into that short nuisance bowl from Joe Edwards, which, as you thought before, may have played a part, and this time it does. Great catch by Robbie just to my right as he catches the, the screen as it was blown down from one of those gusts of wind. Well, we had one day just recently, of course, Brendan, wasn't it? And Christchurch at the well, Nationals when... Yeah, it's not quite that windy. <laughs> no, where we had everything blowing all around. It was, uh, and it was a good 10, 15 degrees cooler too. <laughs> certainly, it, yeah, it certainly was. certainly wasn't summer conditions at the Heartland, at the uh, Somerset National Championships for sure. Very testing conditions. So now Joe Edwards, a chance here if she can... Sit on one of those Australian bowls. I don't know if she's going to continue just to play on the forehand side rather than that backhand. And I think that's been hung out wide and is not coming back. So I believe it's two to Joe Edwards. She certainly played on the safe side on the width. Didn't want to risk anything at all. And one out, taken one out. One out. Now it comes out that measure. Take out that one. Now we will measure to see whether Joe Edwards has got two. Or whether it was just the one, but the Jack and the Matt will certainly be back in Joe Edwards' possession. She's going to do the measuring honours while Kelsey Cottrell looks on. The marker also an interested party. See what Lily Pops he puts up. So now Joe Edwards handing over responsibility. Two. Oh, Matt must be two. Uh, giving it to Joe Edwards, saying. Yep, I'm happy with your call. So 12-9 is now to New Zealand's Joe Edwards in the women's singles. Good fight back so far from Joe Edwards. As I mentioned earlier, her last meeting with Kelsey Cottrell over, well over by this stage. 21-9, Kelsey Cottrell running out winner in around an hour's time. 9-5 after eight ends of the women's four, New Zealand leading. 12-8 after nine ends of the men's four, Australia is leading that contest and 15-8 by the looks of things Aaron Wilson leading Shannon McElroy in the men's singles race to 21. So the New Zealand fours, the men's fours certainly picked up some shots to get back within four at this point because they were certainly 11 nil down they were. So they're certainly fighting their way back as we see the first Joe Ebert's bowl come right to the centre line but short of about a metre of weight. So Kelsey Cottrell now. Bowl looked narrow out of the hand and resultantly is going to be narrow. Certainly looked straight out, straight out of her hand. You could see that it was on that narrow side. Great thing about doing these commentary jobs in Australia with the greens having the lines down the middle, etc. You can very, very quickly see, get an idea of the arc and line of the bolt towards the head you can see early on as Edwards now on her backhand leading 12-9 
in the race to 21 as you watch the bowler Joe Ebert is now come back towards the centre line and the jack and it'll sit jack level good bowl from the New Zealand singles player Kelsey Cottrell looks to be on a different width and just going to go by ever so slightly from to the centre line looks like in the women's fours New Zealand scored again 10-5 they now lead after 9 of the 15 ends so Joe Edwards bowl now this third bowl breaking down towards the jack Front touch up sitting right on top. I'm sure Kelsey Cottrell now might change her hand and she has come to the backhand, try and get the split down onto those two bowls and get the movement of the jack back to the Cottrell bowl sitting right on the centre line on its way. That's a shot that Kelsey Cottrell certainly plays. It breaks down towards the head now, trying to get that, not going to have any luck there. And Joe Edwards. Three to New Zealand, and Joe Edwards now, what do I do? Just got to get behind the head. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be out to you know, Kelsey Cottrell, I'm sure. It's a big target for her. And got to bowl him behind the head. So Joe Edwards electing to change her hand on the forehand. And able to get past the short bowl of Kelsey Cottrell and get past that all the way down towards the deep on the back of the rink and that's exactly where Edwards is going because the jack would certainly Joe Edwards wanting to own the two metre mark because the, and of course the advantage Joe Edwards has got with, with the balls moving around that she's also got a toucher sitting right on top of the jack so Cottrell will attack again on that She's changed her hand. This is an interesting decision by Cottrell and playing with weight on the forehand. Now it's under the line. It's a surprise. Why I say that, Brendan, is because playing the other hand, you are playing into the head, into the counting area. Playing the other hand, you, you, you're actually playing a one bowl target to get a swing onto them. And was it? wasn't that far away with her first attempt at that shot and surprised actually that Kelsey Cottrell changed her hand uh, and elected to play the the, the forehand side. And that's is that it. the first three of, yeah. of the match so far for either player? Yes it is. So 15-9 now Joe Edwards leading Kelsey Cottrell so it's been a very tight affair no three threes or fours up until now so that, that end one slip up, really, by Kelsey Cottrell. And, uh, surprise and what decision. What it's meant is that she's got a six-shot advantage now, Joe Edwards, and she's six away from winning this match on her 50th birthday, of course, and getting a bit of revenge against Kelsey Cottrell, who beat her 21-9 earlier today and also beat her in the singles yesterday. Well, not very often you see Joe Edwards in these predicaments of... Um, you know, losing the two games which he's lost and, you know, certainly a bit of a worry for the coaches, the slow start. Uh, but she's got to, certainly not the case in this game. She's got to, Joey Evans has been consistent right throughout this game, really. And has, uh, the good thing is that she's found her line early on and hasn't been sort of having to scratch around to try and find a way to the jack. And she's certainly playing pretty well at present although Kelsey Cottrell with that last end really sort of left the gate open a bit with the change of hand to play that run shot which was most surprising on the forehand now is Joe Edwards one down on the head leading 15-9 in the race to 21 needing to get past the short bowl of her own to get down to the jack but again this is going to be short of weight with Joe Edwards she does she gives that the old the, uh, Slap of the towel, yeah, she, wasn't it? Yeah, didn't like that one at all. Knew as soon as she let it go that she was certainly going to be short and was. 
So, Kelsey Cottrell now going to try to make sure that she's onto the jack and goes by. So, we may see Joe Edwards no, staying on that forehand, knowing if she draws around her own or just draws through the port. She'll certainly not if she get shot, she'll be quite happy to get second shot. The first two bowls are certainly short of the target. Gone wider this time. How far is this bowl going to come back to the centre line? It's moving its way back now, so that's certainly second shot. And just about to the centre line is a flock of what were those sort of birds that flew through? Cockatoos. Cockatoos. Massive ones. Well, they're big ones, all right. They. There's about, about 20 of them. <laughs> never, <laughs> never seen so many once. You can probably pick them up over our fix mic as well. Robbie the local letting us know about the bird life as well. Man of many talents. He's got it all. So, Kelsey Cottrell sort of letting Joe Edwards off the hook a wee bit with that third bowl. Had the chance to really put the pressure on. And again, something distracted Joe Edwards. Not the cockatoos, I don't think. No, they're well gone. Joe Edwards now endeavouring to draw on the forehand. Definitely out on the wider side this time. And that we're going to see. Yeah, but yeah, again, have the old flap of the hands knew straight away that... Oh, that's interesting, because I thought that was on a similar line to the previous one, but it didn't have, obviously, the same weight. Uh, and so that's I, what she was expecting it, certainly, to come back more than it did. I did. I, I wouldn't have been surprised to see Joe Edwards actually attack the what is the shot bowl, because if she got it, she was leaving the door open for Kelsey Cottrell to go, score one. Um, but you know, felt confident on the draw, so and not to be. So now Kelsey Cottrell will definitely score, trailing 15-9, and the birds are certainly in action now. And I'll say Kelsey Cottrell won't, may well have made two. No, I think so. Just the, yeah, just the, just the one. one. So 15-10 now. Joe Edwards of New Zealand leading Kelsey Cottrell of Australia. This the third and final session of the second Trans-Tasman test. I hope you are enjoying our coverage wherever you may be. He brought you women's fours earlier today. Australia running out 25-10 victors. Then a thrilling match in the men's pairs which New Zealand won 18-17. Now in the men's singles. It's 17-10. Aaron Wilson leading Shannon McElroy of New Zealand in that first 2-21 matchup after 10 ends of 15 in the men's fours. 14-10 I believe the score is there. So that's quite tight as well. 14-8 rather. Australia leading and in the women's fours we're still after 9 ends. New Zealand 10. Australia 5. And I think there might still be two more to go up on the Shannon McElroy scoreboard. The, I saw the marker walk past and indicate two, and McElroy deliver the jack, but no one yet's changed the scoreboard. So, may well be. Or well, the, the marker was just very quick. Because there, <laughs> there, there, there is a scoreboard attendant there. So oh, there is. That's a score then, obviously. So, it must be the score. Unless the scoreboard attendant's not. The scoreboard attendant's very much awake. So, two short bowl there by... Joe Edwards is there first, and yeah, Kelsey Cottrell is going to quickly capitalise on that and just draw level with the jack with her second bowl. And Joe Edwards now will endeavour to play down on her backhand, draw past her own short bowl and play down to the Kelsey Cottrell bowl. But it's going to be narrow under the line for sure. Going to finish... Doesn't, doesn't finish Jack level, still short again. Now it's interesting. The last two ends, we've seen now Joe Edwards play four, what I would call strange, very short bowls. Just, and yet I'm sure she'll be talking to herself, saying, come on, you only want six more. As we watch this bowl, oh, Kelsey Cottrell's going to also 
pull up short. We might see a change of hand here. Yeah, Kelsey Cottrell grabbing her hat and annoyance with herself as well that she has uh, finished up alongside one of the short Joe Edwards bowls and didn't capitalise. Joe Edwards confident that you can still draw around past the yellow bowl there, the Australian bowl, short bowl. Tries to draw around that to get down to the shot bowl of Kelsey Cottrell. She's around it now as it breaks down towards the head but had a lot of weight on it. And we'll scurry past, still one to Kelsey Cottrell. And I see New Zealand and the women's fours. Looks as though they've scored again. We'll see the mat. The short New Zealand definitely hit the mat, so they must have scored again. And the good thing for Joe Edwards here is that Kelsey Cottrell hasn't capitalised at all on the wayward bowls of Joe Edwards. And just the one, Joe Edwards coming to have a look. Uh, no doubt players are probably both struggling with the maybe slowing of the, the greens as well. No doubt, you know, just speaking with Robbie, the local man, saying, you know, over this period after 4 o'clock local time, they do slow a good second, second and a half. So maybe that's uh, showing out these last couple of ends. Could well be. Yeah, Robbie, God, he's under everything today, isn't he? Yeah, he's got the... He's an ornithologist as well. Everything. Uh, double screens, the cockatoos, everything. <laughs> so and a many talents, uh, Robbie. Joe Edwards, what will she do here? I think she's got to change the hand, Joe, and she is coming down on the forehand. Want to try and play under her own bowl on the forehand side to get to the shot bowl. One down, and that's exactly what Joe Edwards is playing, trying to get down now to this Kelsey Cottrell bowl or the jack. It's close. Here it is now. It's going to get the jack or the hole. Desperately unlucky was Joe Edwards. Just a half a bowl away from getting that trail on the jack. Or sitting the bowl out cleanly. Well, a further one to Australia. 15-11 now. 15-11 to Joe Edwards over Kelsey Cottrell in the race to 21. And we should have had another end completed in the women's fours. I believe we have 11 5 after 10 there. It is still 17 10 in the men's singles. Aaron Wilson over New Zealand's Shannon McElroy. And it's 14 9 now in the men's fours after 11 of the 15 ends. That's in Australia's favour 14 9 leading the New Zealand alley. Forsyth skipped four. So I see Ben taking the umbrellas out as the, as the rain on its way. A few spots of rain out there from Robbie. And here, Kelsey Cottrell sits right in behind the jack, putting the pressure on. Um, bowl one. I can hear those cockatoos squawking somewhere in the background. And certainly, in the last half an hour, the wind has picked up quite considerably here on the hill. Australian birds don't really have the most beautiful look. <laughs> Of sounds, do they? No. Would you compare them to some of the New Zealand no. birds? There's no twill. There's a squawkers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, quite, that's quite well said about... Just, just like the Australian accent, perhaps. I, I was just going to say that was quite very cleverly said, Brendan. <laughs> so we saw the Joe Evans bowl go narrow and across the head, as did the second Kelsey Cottrell bowl, and... I think there's two factors here. That green, as Robbie had indicated, slows up by a second, second and a half. The breeze has certainly uh, increased as well. I'm just putting a wee bit more. Raincoats are coming pressure. on. Umbrellas are out as well. So some players, are, oh, yes. bands are running for cover. Uh, you yeah. Watch this bowl. There's some spots on the cameras as you'll see. There's the Joe Edwards bowl coming back to the centre line. This is really trying conditions now for the players Kelsey Cottrell holding the shot we can feel that bit of rain now, people starting to move out of their seats we can't but we're covered yeah, we've got nothing to complain about <laughs> <laughs> the uh, wind obviously bringing a bit of the, the moisture into our commentary position but we're very much well covered here at Musgrave Hill 
obviously the, the players can't find any shelter from this the one way they'll be playing and the, the way that the camera is obviously is the way that the wind's coming into the camera bringing in a bit of that moisture so here's now Joe Ebbage trying to get down to the jack and the bowl what a magnificent bowl from the New Zealand singles player well, the wind just stopped and it's just a bit of a lull and she capitalised. Brilliantly played by Joe Edwards. Sat right on, watch the replay of this. You'll see this bowl of Joe Edwards is on a good arc all the way down. And then just breaks in towards the jack and the, and the shot bowl. Big drawing bowls of Joe Edwards using them to her advantage there. One sliding past the head from Kelsey Cottrell. Playing with that weight, trying to attack the shot bowl as well of Edwards. Uh, so Edwards will be scoring again. Can she add a, a second? Can she time her delivery? There's a bit of a gust of wind comes through just after she, she delivered this one. Changing the hand is Joe Edwards not trying to risk things on the trail of the jack. And just going to go Is it by up? and hold up enough, but not enough. I don't one. think so. One more to Joe Edwards, so 16 11 now. Five away, she is in this race to 21 women's singles action in the third and final session of this second Trans Tasman test. There's 11 5 New Zealand leading in the women's fours after 10 ends 18 10 to Australia. Aaron Wilson over. Shannon McElroy in the men's singles and the men's fours have now completed 12 ends I believe I'll just wait to see the scoreboard uh, another time I know New Zealand's on 9 but can't see Australia's score come back to check that later that was a big one actually for Joe Edwards because she'd struggled the last couple of ends with this wind came around and uh, had two wayward bowls and Kelsey Cottrell, of course, holding a couple of shots. And Joe Edwards playing that magnificent third bowl and sat on the jack, scoring the one. So Joe Edwards getting the mat back again and her length. And she's aptly straight away. You'll see Edwards, that's where she wants the jack to be. And draws just in front of the jack. And certainly playing shorter than what they were while well, Kelsey Cottrell had control of the jack for the last uh, couple of three ends. As we watch now, Kelsey Cottrell play her first bowl. It's on a good line to the jack as well. This bowl of Kelsey Cottrell's and it gets a toucher, moves the jack bat. Well played by the Australian singles player. Yeah, Joey was showing her appreciation as well with a round of applause. So Edwards will follow that bowl down on her backhand. Of course, the 50th birthday today for the New Zealand and world number one singles player. Joe Edwards just going to fall short of weight. And it does just fall. Oh, from where the jack was, that would have been near perfect, unfortunately. Kelsey Cottrell with her first moving the jack back to its current position. Now Cottrell with a bit of an opening here again. Both of Joe Edwards is short from where the jack has now been placed. Unfortunately, though, for her, she's going to run into one of Joe Edwards' bowls. Joe Edwards will certainly now try on that back. It's going to the forehand side now to get down to the shot bowl on the side, on the backhand side, get down to the Kelsey Cottrell. Shot bowl. How's the weight? How's the weight? Is it running towards the jack now? Don't know if it's enough. Yes, it is. Yeah, the marker indicates certainly is enough. Great bowl from Joe Edwards making the adjustment with her second bowl being short of the target after her first was pretty much on the jack before Kelsey Cottrell moved it. And now it's 
back in her favour. She looks to close this one out, does Joe Edwards. It's been a very tight affair, tight contest between these two great international players, Edwards and Cottrell. So here's the bowl to Kelsey Cottrell. Is it going to get a touch on her own bowl? No, just slid by. So Joe Edwards will now play her last bowl, holding shot, leading 16-11. Eighteen eleven in the men's singles. Aaron Wilson over Shannon McElroy of New Zealand. So here is now the Joe Edwards, her last bowl. Again, on a good line, but has it got the weight to get all the way through to the Kelsey Cottrell bowl? This is close to getting right, to fall in, not out. Let's just be the one. Maybe two, the, the way that the market is. getting ready to, is, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. No, just I know. I one. thought he was spreading them I away. Thought, yeah. <laughs> away I thought he had the sort of spread on the lollipops, but no, no, not to be. Yeah, didn't want to show more than one lollipop marker there, so not quite enough to make it to that last bowl of Joe Edwards. Still all the work to do for her opposite, Kelsey Cottrell. Of course, we'll be back live tomorrow morning, well, 12 o'clock tomorrow. We'll be back live bringing you action from Broad Beach on the third and final day of this Trans-Tasman where everything will be up for grabs including spots in the Australia and New Zealand World Championship sides. Teams of five to be selected both men and women and I see a conference going on with the women's fours over there Brendan the Australian side who must have just scored on that last end and the in the middle of the green. Taking yeah. a long time because I know Certainly New Zealand yeah. has been waiting a while to, to get back underway. Well, we saw this a bit yesterday from this uh, Australian women's fort taking their time with the mid green conversations. Oh, that's a fortuitous slice of the jack off the side, the side bowl. Kelsey Cottrell, well, they made two of that, I would say. Yeah, it certainly looks like it has. Got a bit of. Fortune going her way, Cottrell, to get the jack and the mat back. So 16-13 it is. Cho Edwards of New Zealand leading Australia's Kelsey Cottrell. Uh, I believe the score has been put up now, so it's in the women's fours alongside. Uh, just been playing at a relatively slow pace. 11-6 New Zealand leading Australia in the women's fours. So... When we get closer to the end, we might start to think about shot differential, but still a lot of work for New Zealand to do to overturn that. Looks like shot differential, maybe their downfall again. 18-11, as I mentioned earlier, Aaron Wilson over New Zealand's Shannon McElroy in the men's singles and in the men's fours. They're playing the 13th end now of 15, and it's Australia 15, New Zealand 9. So the first bolt of Kelsey Cottrell's fell way short and Joe Edwards she'll want to capitalise on that for sure and put the pressure on with her first bolt leading 16-11 and here's the Joe Edwards bolt on its way looks to be on a narrower line breaks down now towards the head it's going to be short again gate was the, you know, the, well, the front gate, back gate, side gate all the gates were left open then and unfortunately Joe Evers just couldn't capitalise on that. So now here's Kelsey Cottrell. Endeavouring to draw closer, and she's going to do so with this her second bowl. It draws down towards the jack. Still leaving a metre, though, for Joe Edwards to draw on her backhand side. Yeah, so when they're playing in this direction, they're playing with the wind pretty much at their backs. And the other direction they're playing into the wind. So here now is Joe Edwards on her back end, knowing that she's got to get past her front bowl with good weight down to the jack. And she's got the line right, but going to go past with weight and goes, in fact, down past the two metre mark. It would still be two to Kelsey Cottrell. And she'll certainly endeavour to put the pressure on here to make three of it. And then leaving the hard work to Joe Edwards. And this is going by as well, but may pull up for 
three because it comes to the two metre mark. Yes, it will be. So Joe Edwards now. And the first of the results just coming through. And Aaron Wilson has beaten Shannon McElroy 21-11 in the men's singles. So after McElroy won the first couple of meetings against Disco, Aaron Wilson, he has lost in the third. And what that does mean now is Australia have a commanding 3-2 lead because not only do they have that extra win, but they have a plus 15 or 14 shot differential. I think it's plus 14 it will be now. Uh, well, actually, it'll be plus 19, won't it? Because it's 1 by 10 there. So All I on tomorrow. Know, oh yeah, exactly. There's no way that the, the men's four, who are currently trailing anyway, 16-9, can win by no. 1920, you would think, over the next, with two ends to play as well in that match. So the so. marker just indicating here, just one to Kelsey Cottrell. Joe Weaver's ball came back to the centre line, but still the shot for Kelsey Cottrell. There's Joe Edwards, still got another bowl to play. Cottrell here will make two of it, runs into her own bowl, and that should make two. I'll wait for the marker to confirm that. Yep. And he does. Joe Edwards now leading 16-13, but two down on the head. We're going to see a change of hand for Edwards to try and get down to that shot bowl of Kelsey Cottrell's. On the backhand again, trying to get past her own front bowl. It's going to get past it. It is going to get past it. Coming down to the jack now. This is a great attempt from... Joe Edwards, have a oh, look at what? this. Have a in. look at this oh, ball from Edwards. It doesn't even need to fall in. It's the shot. And Kelsey Cottrell go, almost resigned there. Look as she gives up the, the mat to Joe Edwards. Holding to Joe Edwards with a fine final ball. Adds another to the count. And now another step closer is Joe Edwards. Well, I did think, Brennan, that Joe Edwards then may have changed to the forehand and tried to play down to sit level on the shot bowl, but back to her ability on that backhand draw and just drew just so neatly inside to the jack, making one. We would have been 16-15. We may well have been. At. So Edwards showing the class of this world number one singles player. Well, you talk about defining moments. Kevin, Certainly. that very well could be the defining moment of this match. It's been a very tightly fought contest throughout. Uh, the best either player has managed has been a three. Mostly it's been singles and twos. That's the reason why this match is still in progress and we're getting deep in both of the fours matches and usually the singles matches finish quicker. Well, in fact, we're playing the 23rd. This is the 23rd end, in fact, that we're playing in this woman's singles, although the ends don't count, first to 21, so that, you know, the number of ends gone playing in 23 certainly highlights that they've been uh, low scoring ends, been very tight ends. And Joe Edwards, after scoring that one, played her first bowl on the next end and drew Jack Level. And this bowl's going to fall short and under the line. She knew that. Joe Edwards knew that as soon as she let it go. Of course, celebrating her 50th birthday today is Joe Edwards. Of course, the current Commonwealth Games back-to-back -back singles title holder. And here is the bowler, Kelsey Cottrell, trying to get to the Edwards Bowl and just goes through the port. Certainly had the chance to get the jack or sit on the bowl. And Edwards just, Joe Edwards just quite happy to assist on that backhand. She knows there's a chance of Kelsey Cottrell getting the jack or the bowl. So Joe Edwards will certainly endeavour to get past her own bowl to the centre line and count to try and minimise any damage should Kelsey Cottrell get that drag on the jack. So taking a long time is Edwards because that wind just buffets around on its way. On a good line is this Joe Edwards bowl now as it breaks down towards the head and it's sit right down towards the centre line, and it does. And I'm sure now we're going to see Cottrell play with reaching weight to the two counting bowls of uh, Joe Edwards, and that's certainly 
what Kelsey Cottrell is doing. Breaking down towards the head now. Yeah, she got, likes this, she's the way she's the, running. And it's just, in fact, got a rock on the Joe Edwards bowl and still held the two. Now that, so the question now for Joe Edwards really is, yeah, and asking the market the question, you know, where do I go now? So Joe Edwards, is, it's one of those head spinner where you're caught in between. The two bowls could be driven out or, of course, contact on the jack out to the side where the Australian bowls are. So that's no doubt where Joe Edwards will be trying to get to where those Australian bowls are. And that's no, certainly she turns her back on it. Doesn't, doesn't like, like it. it. Doesn't like it, but I think it might end up in an OK home amongst those yellow bowls, is it, or does it not come back? Can't quite see because of the international IT technical officer. Old ITO. ITO, Barry. So this, is a, this could be a defining moment, this ball. This is a big ball here from uh, Kelsey Cottrell. Because if Joey Edwards holds on to these two, she jumps to 19. In turn, we could see Kelsey Cottrell pick up a couple of shots here. Standing back behind the mat. Not an easy shot, though. Now going to the coach, Steve Glasson. What shot? What? Well, it's more about what weight do I play? And one would think with this win, more weight would be more advantageous, giving it less chance to duck away under the head. And of course, we can't quite see where that fourth bowl of Joe Edwards actually did finish up, whether it got to any of those uh, ca those uh, catching Australian bowls out to the side. Still deliberating the Australians. Now, Kelsey Cottrell comes to the mat. Definitely standing as though going to play on the backhand. And she is with that reaching weight. Is it going to get past or get the Joe Edwards bowl and make three? Yeah, or is it just rolled out? Or is it still just two? Or is it three? Mark is preparing the lollipops. He's only preparing two here. Might have just rolled enough out of the way that Black ball, yeah, just two. So Kelsey Cottrell gets a bit lucky there that she didn't make it a third to Joe Edwards. So 19-13 it is now for New Zealand's Joe Edwards. Just two shots away from winning this women's singles contest. I the scores just changed, excuse me, Kevin, in the men's fours. 16-11 now, Australia leading, playing the final end of that contest. New Zealand in the women's fours after 12 ends, leading 11 to 8. So New Zealand women leading both of their matches, and they had to win both to have a chance. But unfortunately, it's a dirty phrase, shot differential, which will be the difference. And they only have to look back to this morning certainly as to so. where it went wrong. Certainly so. But if we consider it, though, Brennan, it's the, especially for Joe Edwards, if she can pull this game off as she draws just another bowl, virtually a touch room behind the jack. It's a, certainly a big morale booster uh, for Joe Edwards, who certainly had her struggles in the last couple of days in the singles. And tomorrow, of course, we'll be back in the singles. I think only playing one game of singles tomorrow. Is that right? Should, Correct. So just the one game left for Joe Edwards. So it's important that she gets this win, not only for the New Zealand side, and certainly it comes down to differential. Um, but it's making sure that you are, you know, the planes for New Zealand, they certainly want to make sure that uh, they're doing, the, doing their utmost to secure victories, and they are. They're all trying exceptionally hard. Here's Joe Edwards drawing this time. Must be a touch. Uh, at the technical officer said no, but two bowls sitting now right on top of the jacks. Holding a match at the moment. 19. Kelsey Cottrell. On her forehand, Joe Edwards won't go near the head if she holds this two after this bowl, which she will. You won't see Joe Edwards trying to add any more. I wouldn't think she'll be endeavouring. That's change of hand now. Get into that backhand side, getting down in behind the head. In these conditions, Brenna, they're two superb bowls from Joe Edwards. Oh, they're incredible, aren't they? 
Uh, just what we expect from the great Joe Edwards. She's not a two-time defending Commonwealth Games gold medalist in this a very event for no reason. Here on the Gold Coast as well, of course, as well as Glasgow. And now looking to win a world title in this discipline in a few months' time back here in Australia. Kelsey Cottrell has had her number of late, though, as the drive comes. It looks narrow. Is it going to get a ricochet off anything? No. It just knocks away the Australian bowl on that forehand side. You can see how close those two are. So Kelsey Cottrell will get one more opportunity. Well, here's the interesting thing now, Brendan. Should Kelsey Cottrell collect the drive and kill the end, Joe Edwards should be coming down to the back now because the only bowl that Kelsey Cottrell, of course, has got now is the front bowl. So if she was to kill it, it's, it's still... Assuming both of those went in the ditch. I believe they both did. Well... Bring the camera all the way down to there, and so the kill is a New Zealand win. And we can only assume that they are. So it's Kelsey Cottrell's got no touches. She's got really few options, does she? Just to try and draw. Yeah, because she. What else can he do? Kills it. That bowl, that bowl, the front bowl of Joe Edwards and that back bowl comes into count. It's unlikely. Well, the can't. There's no way that Kelsey Cottrell can get a touch at the way how the bowls are formed on the head. So she's, I'm sorry, but she's got, to me, the draw is her only option to try and, because the kill will certainly still result in a win for New Zealand, a much needed win and much wanted win for Joe Edwards on her 50th birthday. So, yeah, the drive, she's gone with the drive anyway. A bit of a hit and hope, really. She knocks away one, so I suppose <laughs> she's got the result. She's delayed. Joe Edwards winning here and kept herself alive as Kelsey Cottrell. Very well executed. That was the other option we hadn't thought of. Just <laughs> if she can execute that, do that exact thing with the drive. Knock away the one shot. Bowl. And so it leaves one there. So... Joe Edwards. There it is. Flick it off. Yep. Get rid of that and make it just one shot to Joe Edwards, not two. So 20 13 it is now. Joe Edwards on match point. New Zealand. Now 11 8 leading in the women's fours, playing the 13th end. Playing the final end uh, in the men's fours. 16-11 Australia lead. Has the 15-minute uh, warning bell gone as yet? Because they no, haven't heard it. Oh, well, that means the four women's fours they should get through their remaining ends as we watch now. Joe Edwards drawing towards the jack, just going to run lower the jack, but certainly the shot. Well, of course it's the shot. There's only bowl on the green, but very handy to the jack. As we see now, Kelsey Cottrell, New Zealand-born player, of course, winner of the New Zealand singles a few years back in Christchurch when she beat Taylor Bruce in the final. And it's interesting, when the World Bowls were on in 2008, and Taylor Bruce would have been a, you know, well, a young teenager at that stage, went along to Burnside where her parents are members and uh, fell in love with the game and she watched Kelsey Cottrell, the young, I think about no, no, 17, 18 year old, not sure how old she was, playing for Australia. And that was the encouragement for Taylor Bruce to get into playing bowls. And then, of course, in latter years at that particular final in Christchurch, we saw Kelsey Cottrell. There's a great bowl from Edwards sitting on 20 right behind the jack. So then Kelsey Cottrell and Taylor Bruce lined up in the final of the New Zealand singles in Christchurch and Kelsey Cottrell on that occasion won the singles and in fact her partner Andrew and father they got beaten in the final of the pairs by uh, Ellie and Neville father and son Ellie and Neville Forsyth in the final of the men's pairs at, at Burnside so here's now Joe Edwards holding game 
and leading 20 to 13. As we play now the 25th end on the backhand is Joe Edwards just trying to get down to the front of the head and if it gets across I oh, didn't get it far enough would have made it harder on that draw line for Kelsey Cottrell so you can get a clear view though where she's got to draw to from the mat you can see there where the two shot bowls are held by Joe Edwards and I see in the women's fours I see that the New Zealand got the mat players you have 15 minutes remaining there you go there's your 15 minute warning you were asking about so uh, we'll get through that women's fours match the men's fours match has just finished uh, yet to find out what was scored on the final end but New Zealand trailed by five playing it so and the body language suggests that New Zealand have lost so the Australian men it's safe to say have won the second trans Tasman test and we will have a decider tomorrow at Broad Beach in the men's as the Blackjacks men try and win back that trans Tasman trophy for the first time in 11 years interesting Brendan that the women's fours we covered that women's fours match this morning where New Zealand were leading was it nine three they were leading and virtually didn't score again and got completely they got dealt to by the Australian fours and here now we're seeing isn't it interesting a change in the Australian fours side and New Zealand are now in front and looks as though they're going to win. Oh, the fourth side hasn't changed. Oh, it hasn't. So it was no, that tri triples, triples and the pairs. Sorry, my, my apologies. His Kelsey Cottrell game down to Joe Edwards. Looks to be on the wide side trying to get down to the Joe Edwards counting shot bowl. Not going to. There's the 50th birthday present. Joe Edwards running out the winner. Yeah, it is shake hands 13. time, waiting for Kelsey Cottrell to come join her in the middle of the green. Joe Edwards has got the one shot she needed. She's first to 21. Happy 50th birthday, Joe Edwards. 21-13. She runs out winners in this women's singles contest here in the third and final session of the second Trans-Tasman Test at Musgrave Hill on the Gold Coast. With a couple of ends to play, the women's four leading Australia, 14-8. But unless they score sixes really on the last two ends, it's the only chance they have of winning this test because while they will level it up with a win, the women's four at three apiece, they were 20 behind in shot differential and that was just too much of a mountain to climb even after a good win here and so far a good performance from the women's four. The Australians have won both contests in the men's in this third and final session. Uh, Shannon McElroy going down in the men's singles 21-11 to Aaron Wilson and in the men's four Australia coming out on top of that one as well as Lindsay Clark there bowling in the women's fours uh, but that will end our coverage here from this second trans tasman test at musgrave hill uh, kevin for australia a successful day for them the men forcing a decider at broad beach tomorrow and unfortunately for the new zealand women that is now four shot differential defeats in succession yeah, as far as New Zealand men are concerned, Ben, and we look, we always knew that Australia were going to come back after yesterday. That was, that was always on the cards, and um, you know to have a a one-all Test series that going into tomorrow, and um, that's still a good result for New Zealand because with our last trans Tasman, of course, New Zealand men were out of the equation after the two Tests that we played for a dead rubber tomorrow. New Zealand tomorrow and the men have got the opportunity to do something which hasn't been done since 2009 to win you know, the men's trans -Hasman. So although we lost today, the thing for New Zealand is just go back and, and did what they did the first day. You know, Shannon McElroy lost to Aaron Wilson today, but we saw that game of Piers earlier on today where we saw the class of Lawson 
and, and McElroy. So we know they're quite capable of doing that against Australia. The women, yeah, they'll be disappointed on their overall result. But I think the good things for the New Zealand women's side is we saw that win of Joe Edwards and also the comeback this afternoon from the uh, New Zealand forward side who, uh, you know, had that real, real tough encounter this morning uh, but have come back this afternoon now to win this game and also the win this afternoon as well of Selena Goddard and Joe Edwards, uh, Selena Smith and Joe Edwards winning their first game in the pairs. So they can go into tomorrow, yeah, sure, we've lost the Test Series, but they can go in with every hope of getting a good result tomorrow against Australia. So, yeah, a dead rubber, but a lot to play for, of course, especially for some of the front players, I would say, in the New Zealand women's side. So all to play for tomorrow at Broad Beach, and let's hope that weather stays kind to us and... Uh, we can bring you a day of full action tomorrow. And let's hope tomorrow we can bring you, for the first time since 2009, uh, a victory for the New Zealand men here in the in the Trans-Tasman Test Series uh, here in a, in, on the Gold Coast. Yeah, make sure you do join us at midday tomorrow for the third and final Trans-Tasman Test from uh, Broad Beach Bowls Club. On behalf of Robbie and Ben, our wonderful production team here, and Kevin Hicklin, I'm Brenton Vanessa Roy, signing off from Musgrave Hill.